Hi Astrology Seekers, how are you today? Happy New Year. Today is January 3rd, 2017. I'm going to start with the fire signs. So have no fear, all the signs will get covered. They seem to be jumping a little. Try to be all careful. How is everyone today? I'm going to start with Sagittarius. And then we will do Leo. And then we will do Aries. So I'm going to bunch them by your, um, I'll do fire, air, money, pentacles, and water. Fire, air, pentacles, water. Fire, air, money, water. Sagittarians, what's around you today? What's around Sagittarians? God, talk to me only about Sagittarians. What's around Sagittarius for the month of January? For the month of January, dear God, please talk to me only about Sagittarius. Only about Sagittarius. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. Your name I pray. So, Sagittarius, sometimes when I close my eyes and I put the cards to my face, I get a symbol. And today I got a, um, uh, it looked like a teardrop, but it wasn't. It was a water drop, like from a faucet. And inside was red, orange, then yellow. So water drop. I don't always know what it means, so you guys might have to come back and say, I know what it means for me. Um, but we'll see what the card says. There's a water drop filled with fire, which is an oxymoron, really. But if I were to interpret it, it could mean that Water people and <clears throat> fire people are going to begin to cohabitate better. That water can contain the fire without putting the fire out. That's what I think it's trying to say. Ten. Without trying to kill the fire, water and fire people will be much more cohesive in January. But to be honest with you, it looks to me like you all will be much more cohesive for the year, for the whole year. So, happy merging fire and water. And fire signs are Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And water signs <clears throat> are Cancer, <clears throat> Pisces, Scorpio. So you guys might be better matches for each other for January. And let me all remind you that Venus is, has woken men up. And so they're looking for their women. So, you know, happy match, guys. Because I think water and fire actually make it along. Like, and very, very well. Okay, Sagittarians, money. Money is your biggest issue or somebody that's holding your money is your biggest issue. It's your final outcome. Also, animal lovers. Animal lovers who work for them. Animal lovers who work or people who have animals that go to work or make an income. The animals will be making really, really good money this year. Many, many, many Sagittarians will get pregnant this year. Some of you will have your third child. Some of you will have your first child. All right? It also looks like it's a child that's coming through that may come from an extended family, <clears throat> may come in where you have to take them in as fostering or adopting or family member. Something happens to the family members, you have to take care of them also may come in as an extension of your original family so you may or some of you may already be married um be careful of um not wanting to do it sagittarian and i mean literally not wanting to do it sagittarians are really good about being vocal about what they don't want to do but they usually do it this time you might be like hell no be careful about that because this change, I believe, is required. I also believe it's a forever change. 
And I also believe, Sagittarians, you guys are the only one that can do this. You guys, in terms of like all your family members or um, should I give birth and I'm tired. I already have grown children. I'm tired. Should I do this? Should I, you know, what should I do? Did you, it looks to me like the change is required. Like it has to happen. So there seems to be a death of self. Something about you has to change. Like it has to. This has to happen. And so the death card is one of my favorite cards because it usually means it's a good change. It's a metamorphosis of sense. You know, caterpillar to butterfly. You know, you know, single to married to pregnant or single to pregnant. doesn't really matter to me because pregnancy is showing up before marriage. But it means a death of the way your lifestyle used to look. But it's so much better. But will you accept it and see it for what it is? Absolutely not. Be careful of putting the brakes on on the change. Be careful of putting the brakes on on the change. Be careful of taking control of your whole life. At the very least, have conversations with numerous people so that you could understand what this forever change means for you. I think it certainly does involve family. If it's anybody out there that has to bring on a new family, something new, you know, from a sibling, from a cousin, you have to take on their family. There's money attached to these children, so make sure that if they, if you're fostering them, even if they're family, check with the system, the city and your state. There's money attached, there's health care attached, there's nurturing attached, there's social work attached. Go get the services. Interesting enough, there's another fire sign woman that is going to help make this possible. Okay, I don't know if the fire sign woman is responsible for giving you these children, another fire sign, or will she be responsible for helping you move forward? Um, uh, there's going to be a lot of confusion inside your head for January, Sagittarians. Whenever I get this card, it, this card literally means don't do anything. Just, just wait and figure it out. Don't do anything. There's definitely some success that's going to come out of this, and it feels like there's going to be some sex, some some sex, some success with. I don't know if it's with help or a party of three or whatever's about to happen for you guys, Sagittarius. It really involves pregnancy, family matters, family matters. So whatever's going to go down. I believe this card could represent the answer is no, or the answer is an abortion. And there's going to be a very, very strong fire sign woman that's going to come to the rescue. This is family involvement. This is three women that are like, let me tell you something. We could do this together. Let's just do this together. Um, and I have to tell you, Sagittarians, if this happens to any of you guys, really listen to your family. And that's why I'm like, talk to them. Like, don't do something in secret. Because there's something that the family, you need the family. You need to know the family is there. Don't do this by yourself. Understand that whatever decision you make, do it with family's uh, involvement, please. Okay? Because for some reason, in your hopes and fears, you feel like it could be the death of you. And the hopes and fears could involve like wanting to create your own family for those of you that are single and you're discovering that you're pregnant and some things are just going, you know, awry. And then you're like, ah, oh, I should just, ah, oh, I should just get, oh, I should just do it. I should just get rid of this baby. <clears throat> I want you to understand that you will not be alone. I understand that money is your problem, but now I'm getting this as two women that are coming to your rescue and this is the same thing two women will support you okay one could be much younger and one could be in about your age bracket so sagittarians for, uh for the month of january it's all about family and i think if you stick it out the ships are going to come in for you know a relationship family feeling proud that you're doing this, you know, you're going to be the mate, like the, the person, there's an engagement coming, there's marriage coming, you think it's not coming, but the answer is absolutely yes. The answer is 
something comes before, so we don't go in order A, B, C, D. We have to go to Z and then come back to G and try and figure out what does G mean because G doesn't mean to you what it could mean to everybody else. And then these women that you know come to your rescue and they're like, girl, please, please, let's do this as a family. But to miss out on this wonderful experience of birthing or adopting or, you know, taking on, you know, a new family, like only you can do this, but we will be there for you. This is what I'm getting. For anybody that's single and pregnant and, you know, maybe thinking about, oh my God, how can I do this? An abortion, you know, and, and by the way, an abortion may come up twice, it may come up in the beginning and then you may see the guy not acting right, it may come up again in time to get the abortion in your state. Um, and again, these women come to your rescue. They're like, girl, please. All right. Ultimately, there's definitely an engagement. There's definitely, you know, family matters. You think family doesn't matter. So you're about to get rid of the baby because the guy may, may not be acting right. But in the end, in the end, Sagittarians, calm down. You will get what you want. You will get what you need in terms of this accidental, you know, baby that's coming through. All right, Sagittarians, happy January. And I have to tell you, happy new year. I think your new year is going to create some new identities, new births, new people in your life, maybe new little people. Love you guys. Bye.